Guys, it's your boy Ghost Venomir, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the two brand new supercars that were just added in in the brand new DLC. And this one we are using, and for this car right here, uh, let me just correct myself. This car right here is the Chevel Taipan. I think that's how you say it, or Taipan, or whatever. Um, and Chevel, as we all know, is basically a muscle brand because it's what the Chevel Picador is and stuff, and the Chevel Surge, which is a hybrid. So this is one of the supercars, and let's see how I've obviously I've already got the time down and the speed because obviously I had to write this down before I voice it over, and the top speed it hit if because you, you guys are going to see it hits 140 miles per hour and it gets to the end of the drag strip in 19.35 seconds now i'm just going to talk about my perspective on this car i absolutely love this car it's amazing you know it's got really good top speed it's got really good acceleration you know it's only rear wheel drive i believe it's only rear wheel drive actually yeah it is only rear wheel drive and it is fucking amazing i love it it's got really good handling so it's good for going around the tracks and stuff um i would have loved to do that in this video but i didn't have enough time but as you can see now it goes pretty quick down this drag strip so without further ado let's get into the next car all right the next car is the um overflowed entity xxf which I do believe is based off a of Koenigsegg Agera, which the uh, entity is based off the CCX. So I believe this is based off of the Agera, and this is amazing as well. I believe it is four-wheel drive, seen as the entity was. I bel I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong. This has got amazing acceleration. It's got mazeling handling. It's it's just uh, it's just an amazing all-round car. And this car was actually kind of surprising, seeing as the other car had a better top speed. You know, it, the other car, the Chevrolet um, Taipan, hit 140 miles per hour, but this car hits 130 and gets to the end of the drag ship in 19.31 seconds. So that's only a four-second difference. But what 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 can we say? Every second counts. But I love this car as well. I love it. I love them all. I love them. All all like all the new cars that came out it's amazing the um one of them is uh, the uh ford escort crossworth but let's not get into that scene as we are talking about these cars but this car is amazing it's good for going around a track it is amazing i've said it so many times and uh, yeah but there is one slight issue i fucking picked up earlier about the um entity cc not CC, no, the Entity XXR. I said XXF, didn't I? XXR, that's what it is, XXR. My bad, my bad. Um, one thing I did pick up is that it does lean quite a bit, and also when you brake, it dips in loads at the front. And I mean loads, and it doesn't look very nice either. But, um, like, the Chevel, uh, I say it's kind of a weird one. But it's amazing for going around corners. But then you can... I know it's a supercar. And you guys are going to be like, Oh, you fucking idiot. But you can drift with it. Like, it's amazing. Whereas this car right here, as you just saw me then when I pulled the handbrake, it didn't really do much. But the Chevel, it's like a... It's an all-round car. Like, it's good for track racing, top speed, and drifting. Like, all you need to do is just tap the handbrake and it's... On its fucking ankles. It's amazing, I love it. But then there's this car, which is just made, basically made for top speed and track racing. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you like these videos, please put a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.